what's up guys welcome back to my channel as you can see we are here in the car i'm gonna do a quick haul with you guys um before i head home i just felt like the lighting was great so that we can do a video out here um i went i did a, i did a little shopping today um nothing yet. i didn't need anything honestly just kind of went for it um so yeah let's get into this haul i'm gonna start out with home goods um some of these are gifts so i'm not going to share the ones that are gifts so um the first thing that i got that caught my why well, did not get a lot at, at any of these stores i think just all of it together just kind of added up so i got this cute i'm going to use it for utensils but this cute little what do they call it i don't even know what they call it oh it's supposed to be a coffee pod holder I'm going to use it for my utensils, uh, my large, um, like, serving spoons and stuff like that. It says, fill cups and great full hearts. I don't know why it says fill cups, but because I'm not going to be filling no cups. Well, I guess I'll be filling bowls. But I'm going to use it as that, and I just thought it was cute. So, that is... Oh, and it was $7.99 for this ginormous thing. So, I thought that was a steal. This last thing I got from um home goods was hold on i have to collect my here. the last thing i got from home goods i decided to upgrade my to my dog's um treat little jar so right now i just have this um plastic one and i just thought this thing was so cute it says gourmet biscuits um treats park life designs that's so cute um and it comes off like this it's metal and it was like $5.99 yeah $5.99 and it can hold like a fair amount of treats and I think this is a little is going to be a lot easier to wash than my um dog's current treat bin because right now it's plastic and the lid is super hard to get off so I thought this would be great so as we do I'm gonna put this to that um next I just got out of Petco that's where I'm sitting out of right now I prefer Petco over Pet Smart. Petco, I just think you just, it's just so much better. Um, I, so I got new treats to refill the dog's treats as well as, um, they do still have some at home, but I thought I'd just get some refills. So I love getting stuff with minimal ingredients for my dogs. Um, I used to work at a vet clinic, so working there and um i did go to i did start going to school for a vet tech so i you know also i just want my dogs to have the best food um so the first thing i got was this honest kitchen goat's milk and cookies uh this is slow baked pumpkin and cinnamon it has it has probiotics whole grain and wheat free pureed pumpkin and real goat's milk um so it's made with, so um the reason why i got the pumpkin one is because um one of my dogs luna she's a beagle she's been having issues with her anal glands lately or not lately she's always had this it's not really an issue but she has to have them expressed every week um and t which is one of my is what my vet at noah's landing um she recommended pumpkin which i i thought about pumpkin but i just I didn't think it would help as much, but she said to try it. So, and I just thought, you know, having it in the treats would be so much better. So, all right. So the next thing I got was the Nature's Balance Limited Ingredients um, Potato and Duck Formula. So the, like I said, I like limited ingredients foods. So this has potatoes and duck, clearly. Molasses, canola oil um, to help preserve it. Um, rosemary extract and citric acid, which is also a preservative. Um, and there's mixed tocopherols, which is also a preservative. So, you know, there's going to be preservatives in everything, especially something like dog treats. Um, but it's literally like two ingredients. So then I decided to get them some toys um, because they love their Kong and their rope. Um, so I decided, and they have both know how to mess up some toys like they toys don't last with them so i got this tuffle meter gentle durable tough romp and run which it's just a squeakable toy and then 
um i got them they love their kong so i got them the kong core strength so it's reinforced um so i just i don't think they'll be able to break this and if they do i have no idea what i'm gonna do with them <laughs> so um, um i went to ulta but i um most of it is a gift so I'm not going to share the gift. I'm just going to share the one thing that I got for myself, which is this Essence Contouring Duo Palette. They used to have one um, a long time ago, but they redid it. Um, and this is in uh, 02 or 20 Darker Skin. So I most likely will use this as a contour. This looks like a really nice, I love this ashy shade. I think it could use that. I could probably pull that off too. So that's the only thing for myself. Self, I got. I know I'm so proud of myself for going to Ulta and just not, you know, destroying things. Okay, then I I also went to TJ Maxx. Um, so I'm gonna start. So, um, I've had a lot of medical issues come about within the past year, almost a year now, and um, all my medications, uh, my allergy injections have made me gain weight. Um, it also makes my hands slow. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm trying to be better about working out and eating healthier. I don't eat terrible, but I could eat healthier and that's my goal. Um, I have gained about 30 pounds since, what well, has it been 30, hold on. Let me just correct, accurately. I've, no, that's a lie, not 30 pounds. I'm such a liar. That was, that was a lie. I gained 15 pounds since finding out um, I have all these medical issues going on, so I want to lose those 15 pounds because I can def I definitely notice a difference when I'm not in scrubs. Um, so I bought stuff on what um at uh, on Amazon, which I will try my best to include it in this video. Um, but I also got a jump rope because I heard jump roping. Um, there's this one girl I follow on TikTok and Instagram. Her name's Lexi. I'll link her below. Um, she inspires me so much and I'm, um, she says burning calories, like, um, jump roping, but burns a lot of calories. Um, I got a new brush. This is the wet brush. Um, it's so cute. It's like this cute, like purpley blue, um, color. And I got a new one because I needed a new one and then I broke it because, so. And then I got this for Kylea, who is my, she's my daughter. It's called Fubbles. It's a machine and it blows bubbles and she loves bubbles. And so I feel like she's going to love this. So I think the theme was like getting three of everything besides all that. So, okay, next I went to, well, let's do Marshall's next. Um, so if I got one thing that's a gift, so I won't share the gift. And then, um, so Becca at the, I think it's the end of the year. Is it the end of the year? Um, later this year, they're going to be going out of business. And so they have a lot of stuff at TJ Maxx and, um, Marshall's, um, TJ Maxx. They didn't have a lot of stuff. Anyways, sorry. I found my favorite highlighter from them. I don't like a lot of Ulta products but the, or uh, Becca products, but this is, um, I, the only reason why I love this highlighter is because of Jaclyn Hill, because she created this highlighter. And so this is the Champagne Pop. This is just in there um, that they did like a champagne collection. Um, so it has that champagne, like it's such cute packaging. But that's like the only thing I like from Becca. So, And then I got this um, Morphe highlighter palette. I think this is Daya. It doesn't say on here. I don't know her name. I... I think it says Daya, Daya Dangan. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. It's a blush, it's like a setting powder and blush and highlighter palette. So I got it and it's so cute. I can see myself using this to um, set under the eyes, blushes and then highlights for sure I'll use. So that's what I got from Marshalls. And then I got a gift, which I can't show you really. That's just, I, my mom, I, yeah. Anyways, um, then I went to Target. I will show you what I got from Target. Um, hope I can put everything back in the bag and make it fit. Um, so I've got this candle. My boyfriend and I are obsessed with burning candles in our house. Oh, it smells so good. And we like fruity stuff. So mango papaya is going to be hit in our house. 
Um, and I love the collection of candles better at Target than I, at Walmart. And that's usually where we buy our candles. So, next. So we have, um, I drink a lot of, not a lot, um, I drink Diet Coke. It's, um, now that I've been on the healthier journey, my health journey, um, I find that now I cannot drink regular Coke, like sodas. So I only drink Diet Coke or Diet Root Beer, Diet, I don't really like Dr. Pepper, Diet Dr. Pepper. Um, but anyways, I, so I have a container that I'm storing my pop soda in my fridge now but it's super bulky so i found this at target not only hold nine but i can stack stuff on the top which i'll show you in a second so it only holds nine of them but i could like um put some on the top and this is just gonna like t um create so much more room in my refrigerator and i'm I, i'm thinking about getting a new fridge anyway so that would be awesome. Next, I got some Spam. Um, I only had Spam Light um, because I'm gonna make some shrimp fried rice this week. Um, and then I got some sm uh, Smart Sweets. They are only three grams of sugar in this whole bag. It's only 100 calories. So I thought this would be a great like um, sweet big treat to try. Um, and then I got some Jif peanut butter to go. To take with work to take to work with me so that I can eat it with my celery that I have in my fridge just because I want to get it and eat it and also my apples so um and then I got oh. and then I got my dairy free yogurt I have a dairy allergy a pretty severe one um so I try to stay away from dairy as much as possible there is some things that I can still tolerate, but for the most part, if I can stay away from it, I will. Um, so this is this is made out of coconut made with coconut milk. So this is the strawberry one. It's from So Delicious, and then this is the coconut one, um, or sorry, not coconut, vanilla one. So I really love these. I like to make um, yogurt parfaits for breakfasts um, or for breakfast throughout the week. Um, I go between the yogurt parfaits and um, my overnight oats um and then i got some oreos um these do not contain milk um and i have there's this really good treat that i've created with them from amanda aunt amanda on tiktok with um whipped cream and peanut butter and i just use dairy free whipped cream instead of regular whipped cream and then i found these dairy free chocolate chip cookies and i'm so excited to try these they're from partake um i'm super I actually love to try one on camera I'm super excited. Actually, hold on. Let me show you this last thing first. A part of this haul. Um, this is some Easy Bake. Um, they're just Toll House chocolate chip cookies. So I'm just going to make... Or Pillsbury. I'm sorry. These are Pillsbury. So I'm just going to use those. I'm just going to make those for my family tonight. Because I'm not cooking tonight. <laughs> Clearly, I'm gonna actually going to order barbecue after this. So they come like this. Oh, they're so cute and small. So let me go through here. So it says um, here, made in a dedicated gluten-free, peanut-free, allergy-friendly facility. It is nut-free, egg-free, wheat-free, dairy-free, soy-free, fish-free, shellfish-free, mustard-free, sesame-free, and sulfite-free. So I'm so excited. So actually, let's try one. Wow. This is good. This is fire. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm mm. So good. Oh my gosh. Mm. These are so good. Okay, I'm gonna put it back before I eat the whole thing. I do notice that Target has a lot more dairy-free options than a lot of other places that I go to. Unless I go to somewhere like Fresh Time or um, Whole Foods. So, 
It, the fact that people like Target has a lot of wide variety of dairy free options, soy free options, stuff like that really makes me feel better. And it makes me want to shop there more because then I know that I can find an alternative and still feed my family the right, what they like. Because dairy free, sometimes having plant based options, I'm basically eating vegan besides my meat that I eat for protein. Um, I feel like sometimes it doesn't taste the same and sometimes it can be it, it can suck because you miss those regular things like mac and cheese mashed potato like really good loaded mashed potatoes so sometimes it could suck but I do find that having those options and having a wide variety of options like different brands because different brands make it differently makes me feel so much better because unfortunately anybody who has a food allergy or eats vegan or vegetarian, paleo, like who does the whole 30, keto, it's so hard. Like sometimes it can be super expensive. And that's that deters me because it makes what I can eat so much lower because I can't afford the higher things. Like the higher how to explain it. More the more expensive things, you know? So yeah. Anyways that is the haul. I know it wasn't a lot. Like I went to a, quite a few different stories, stories, stores. Um, but you know, I got kind of like three or four things at each store besides Target. So yeah, I, I'm going to start doing videos more often. I'm actually super excited now that I finished school. I just finished my last week of my externship for medical assisting. So I'm starting to really buckle down in studying so that I can take my test in hopefully a few weeks. I'm going to try and get it scheduled and do all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.